Welcome to Cape Chronicle, I'm Alex Gasser. Assistant Public Works Director Brock Davis is here to discuss some, some of the ways we can stay safe this winter. Brock, welcome. Thank you. Yeah, so tell us a little bit about how we can stay safe this winter. Well, there's a lot of, a lot of things, uh, of course, around the house, um, uh, keeping uh, the walkways clear. Uh, it, you can, you know, there's salt. Uh, salt does damage your turf, your grass, so you be careful of that. But they do make what they call uh, calcium chloride or potassium chloride. Potassium chloride is actually better for your grass, but it's way more expensive. Um, if you uh, know a storm is coming and you can put that stuff out on your walkways, uh, that's always the best. Uh, but if you can't and you're caught off guard, putting it on top is perfectly fine. Uh, keeping gutters cleaned, uh, is, gutters are notorious for holding water and freezing and then they uh, tend to drip all over everything and get on your sidewalk also. Uh, water, water lines, always keep them in a heated area. Uh, if for some reason you run out of power and, and run out of heat, you can crack your, your faucets and keep water trickling running through that. That'll keep them from freezing. Uh, or in a best worst case scenario, if, if your power is out and uh, you've got to leave or whatever, just shut your water off totally to the house. Okay. Uh, keep your cabinets open, keep your faucets open. Uh, you'll probably still get some cracks, but at least your house won't be flooded. <laughs> <laughs> So that's the, I always say the best worst case scenario, uh, you may have to, once you come back into the house and you get power and you get heat going, you may have a few cracks to, uh, leaks to fix, uh, but it's better than having to mop up a bunch of water. So. Um, so what do we do about like outside pipes? Like do we disconnect our hoses or are, what are some other things we can do to prepare yes. or things that we forget about? I know I'm really yeah. bad about that. <laughs> yeah. Well, hopefully your, your main lines, they should be at least 18 inches deep or, or, or 24. Uh, but yes, uh, that is, that is a, a, a bad thing that a lot of people don't think about is they leave their garden hoses out front that they water uh, gardening or flowers or they leave them hooked up. Uh, you should always unhook them, uh, be sure they're drained out. And then they make uh, faucet covers, insulated covers. Oh, okay. You can buy them at Walmart uh, and the hardware store, wherever. Uh, and put those on your faucet covers. Uh, usually, most of the time, weather don't get extremely cold very often, uh, although we've had, as everybody knows, a big blast come through. Uh, so uh, that's the other thing, and a lot of thing about freezing pipes is a lot of times you won't notice it until it warms up and starts to thaw, because uh, it's frozen. So, and it warms up and you think, great, I made it through the winter and everything's good. And then water starts coming everywhere because that's when the, that's when the water starts thawing itself out and leaking. So it's good to have those covered with those insulated covers and you can buy them. Some of them are made out of styrofoam, some of them are, are bag type, they're insulated. So uh, you can go to, like I said, Walmart, any hardware store and they can direct you right to them. <clears throat> gotcha. Is, it, is there a certain temperature that like salt doesn't work anymore or is there a certain yeah. point where it's like don't put it out it's not going to yeah. help you in any way <laughs> uh it, of course if if the weather's coming <clears throat> and snowing usually it's cloudy on a cloudy day salt pretty much around 15 to 17 degrees it just stops working uh it's got to be a salt has to be able to melt to some degree in order to, to keep the snow and ice off okay uh, now if the sun shines uh, that's a totally different story um, it'll work a little bit colder than that, but you know, sun's always the key, but there is a point, you know, once you get below that 17, 15 degrees, that salt just doesn't do any good. And it just kind of sits there. We, we've, we've salted streets in cold weather, uh, come back the next morning and the salt's still laying there and it hasn't done anything. So, uh, but we do use what they call a brine solution. And really all it is, is melted salt. Uh, but we do it ourselves. We, we, we have a tank and we, we put you know, the salt in there and then we melt it down and we fill a big tank and that's what we call a brine solution. You can make it at home. You can put in a five gallon bucket, you can put some rock salt in there uh, and, and put some water and kind of let that all, let the, the, the rock salt start melting and you can kind of put it in a sprayer and spray it. It's, it's a little more work uh, and, and detailed to do that, but it works really well. Okay. Uh, you, you know, a lot of times you'll see not only <clears throat> us here at the city, but the state department, 
uh, MoDOT, uh, they use the, the brine solution. It's always best to do that on the, put that on the streets and let it dry. So a lot of people may get confused because they'll see the city trucks or the state trucks out two or three days before the storm comes. I'm like, well, what are they doing? Well, they're putting that brine down, especially on bridges and hills. Uh, they put that down, they coat it, and ideally, if it can dry uh, before the storm comes, it keeps the snow and the ice from adhering to the asphalt or concrete. Uh, okay. So, so it, 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 and it doesn't stick. So uh, that helps tremendously. Um, of course, uh, brine or salt, either one, if it's raining, like the weather we had here recently, uh, it rained first and you, uh, it's kind of a waste of money uh, to put all that stuff down and the rain just washes it away. So we really have to wait for it to quit raining before we can actually do anything. So, uh, but the brine really helps uh, take care of those situations for us. So that's kind of like the pre-treatment and then yes. when the snow actually comes, that's when you're salting right. the roads on top of that. Right. Gotcha. Correct. And so how kind of, how much in advance do you guys do that? Um, it, or does it just really depend? And I know you said yeah. there's a temperature gauge there too. Right. So We stay in contact with the National Weather Service, which is based out of Paducah. And we have uh, Zoom meetings, uh, emails, uh, anywhere from four to five days prior before the storm even gets here. Uh, so we're kind of gauging to see, you know, where the storm's going, how it's traveling, what path it's going to take. Uh, we're kind of looking at that, um, and, uh, and, th and that way we can gauge whether we need to go out. Okay, it's coming Friday, so Wednesday, let's go out and brine the hills and the bridges and stuff like that. So I always uh, tell everybody that if you see MoDOT out uh, and it's a dry, sunny day, and nothing, not a cloud in the sky, but yet they're brining in the streets as, as well as some of our city trucks, be on the watch out because that means the storm's coming. <laughs> <laughs> we, we probably hear the, the, the weather forecast before, uh, you know, before they do on, on the television. So that's always a good sign to look for. If you see them, the, the, if you see them out spreading, that means there's my snow, something's coming. So. <clears throat> gotcha. So if um, anyone in the community has questions or anything like that, is there somewhere they can call about how to be more prepared or? Yeah, they can, well, they can call uh, the public works department. Uh, they can even call city hall uh, and they'll direct them to the right people depending on what the question is. So, uh, but yeah, they can call uh, any city facility really. Um, we all pretty much stay in, in, in contact. Uh, but public works would be the def definitely when that's where I'm located and, and a lot of our staff and they can answer any questions in detail. So. Perfect. Well, thank you so much.